next we'll talk about this line diagram and some more details but before this i have one more video clip in that you'll find the information for this split system so again i'm going to play this all previous processes feed into the mini split assembly line where indoor and outdoor units this is a condenser fan motor of outdoor unit so assembled and tested before packing starting with the base pan here is a compressor and you can find this uh, isolators this rubber to reduce the vibration condenser fan with support compressor condenser coil and interconnecting copper you see this is a condenser coil tubes and coil guards are added here one important point to discuss this these are two valves if you closely observe this this is called liquid line and this is suction suction line or the gas line most commonly in actual practice we used to call suction line now if you closely observe the suction line dia is bigger than the liquid line so remember this is important me asking into you why the suction line is bigger than the liquid line so in order to understand first of all the direction of flow is required okay so you see this liquid line flow direction of refrigerant is outdoor to indoor because in the outdoor you'll find compressor condenser and this expansion Thank right so the refrigerant it is going to condense in condenser no? it mm -hmm. will change its form from vapor to liquid in the condenser and the same liquid will pass through expansion device and will come out in the liquid form only from the outdoor unit and from the outdoor to indoor the refrigerant is in liquid state right and in the indoor what will happen the change of phase in this uh, evaporation, evaporation process and the refrigerant will change from liquid to vapor so out in indoor to outdoor you will find the suction line the direction of the suction line is indoor to outdoor means towards from from indoor towards outdoor so the indoor to outdoor the refrigerant state is in what vapor so remember vapor means the volume increases and uh, so remember when the refrigerant convert from liquid to vapor the volume increases no? and mm -hmm. increase in volume means required additional space and when the refrigerant flowing in liquid required less less space okay apart from this there is a density difference also no, in liquid and vapor right so this is the main point and important for entry point of view so remember outdoor to indoor liquid line indoor to outdoor suction line and the suction line that is bigger than the liquid line we'll talk about the pressure rating also we have a table as per the different refrigerant but let me complete this video first after brazing units are pressurized for air leaks and dehydrated and the refrigerant charging in the compressor final assembly including electrical control box and wiring permits one last functional test prior to packaging and stocking in the finished goods warehouse here on the name plate you can find some additional information you can read fla rla LRA. remember lra you'll find one more rla so you see fla is a full load ampere lr is a lock load ampere and rla is a rated load ampere so what is this amp and you know ampere refers to the current no? the unit of current so remember this term we'll discuss uh, after this video this is important for interview point of view also actually this terms is related to the service side but this is very common may ask in interview even for the designing or for installation engineer also The indoor unit assembly starts with a back panel. In FCU, this is a high wall FCU, nothing but indoor unit. You'll find the blower, and this is a cross flow blower. The type of the blower is a cross flow blower. Followed by the blower fan See, motor. This blower is connected to the shaft of the this motor. So you'll find a separate 
fan motor in indoor and separate in outdoor outdoor for condenser fan and indoor for this blower so one question yes when the blower blow the air to the rooms at the same time it sucks the air from the room also right yes don't worry i'll explain this simultaneous process is happening you see supply of air with any fan with the suction only not only in this indoor even in outdoor in the axial fan throwing that air with the suction from outside mm -hmm. if the air is supplying means without suction is it cannot be done right and at the same time it's it's not possible to suck only hot air with it's mixed air like cool and hot air from where a room inside room don't worry at this level don't do the conclusion let me complete this video i'll show you the procedure how exactly the air flow through this optic coil operator coil dehydration electrical control box you see this coil is a evaporative coil no? in the in in the indoor Bearing harness functional testing and front panel fixing it then moves to packaging now we'll get the answer to your question this is the outlet and the suction in some model the suction from the front or suction from the top mostly in many models you'll find the suction from the top and when when the blower operates the blower is backside of what you have to call now so whenever you switch whenever you switch on this unit the when the blower start it will start suction from the room so this mm -hmm. we can call as a return return means at this level i'm using the term return because this we can call as a supply now this is suction from the room with this above grill or it can be from this part or from above as per the model so when the suction take place first it will pass through the cooling coil and mm -hmm. loses the heat and the moisture and the cool and dry air will come out from this outlet at this outlet at this level at the outlet is closed when you switch on this outlet will open and it will swing you know this right it will swing it will it will swing up and down and for that also you'll find a separate a small motor so what will happen in between you'll find the cooling coil so it loses the heat and moisture you'll get the cool and dry cool and dry air at the outlet that is paired to the condensing units in the finished goods warehouse now we'll discuss some more some more points related to this on screen here you see this is the outdoor unit connected with the copper pipe you'll find the two valves here because two pipe will connect and you see this two pipe separate insulation and it's going to run with the three inch conduit pipe as per standard and you'll find the detail drawing below for this side and you see this complete pipe is connected to the indoor and in the indoor in this model the suction from this front side some models you'll find the suction from the top and this is a discharge outlet and at the bottom you'll find the drain tray you see you'll find the drain tray here and the condensed what is going to collect it at the bottom of this drain tray in all the models you'll find this and to which will connect a drain pipe you see this is condensate drain pipe run inside the wall normally it should be concealed but normally uh, if if the installation is not standard you will, will it will be visible also but as per standard this pipe and this pipe should be concealed we can so take this pipe out through the wall but in this case you see we are taking the pipe through this wall and this is a pipe chase and through the pipe chase the pipe is going up through this slab connecting to this outer unit okay and this through this slab means here the pipe sleeve pipe sleeve is required and sure. the drain pipe one minute the drain pipe you see here this is a drain pipe which is used to collect the water and we are going to connect to the nearest flow drain or to the uh, plumbing drain drain point it can be near 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 the point suppose if it is a kitchen or if it is a toilet we'll connect to that but before connecting to this we required one more uh, important that is called u trap i'll give you the idea for example this is a indoor unit and this is a drain pipe so what we'll do we'll take it u trap like this and this is very very important yes online yes sir uh, do we provide the insulation on the condenser drain pipe yes for split generally uh, we are not providing but for uh, ductible split is is required because you see this is directly we are taking out now but inductor split it is required but split you can ignore because this pipe is uh, for single unit and it is going directly out of the space 
But if you see this U-trap, this is called U-trap. U-trap means it's simple. Uh, normally in uh, plumbing, you'll find the P-trap, no? So, so I'm not getting this. I'm not getting this point that uh, this uh, high wall you don't require insulation and other type for drain pipe. You see, after completing this ductable split, you can understand this. But for high wall, it's not required. For high wall, it's not required for insulation for the drain pipe because this we are taking directly out now. So why the need of the insulation? Because uh, this is directly out. That means we are putting hole in the wall and giving outside. Yes. Same. Yeah, yeah. Or through this wall. Conceal. Mm -hmm. Taking the out. So we didn't, don't require the insulation for this. But for this copper pipe, insulation is must. Hmm. Now, so you see, this is FCU. The same one. And this drain pipe, I'm adding the details. This drain pipe here, before connecting to the flow drain, you must add the U-trap. This is called U-trap. And why the need of this U-trap? And remember, this U-trap is not only for this FCU. This concept you'll find even for AHU. The AHU can be a chill water system. With AHU can be ductable split. Or the AHU can be a VRF system. Which is, this AHU and FCU is common for all the systems. So at this level, if you're not getting this term, don't worry. We have a topic to discuss about this different system. So just I'm just giving the importance of U-trap because U-trap is not only for FCU, it's also for the AHUs, which we'll discuss in the in the next sessions. So you see the purpose of U-trap, it will create a water seal. Like in drainage, WC, you'll find the P-trap. No? And in that P-trap, always you'll find the water. So this U-trap also used to create a water seal so that this is connected to the indona and this is connected to the nearest flow drain. And the flow drain can be uh, if a uh, toilet flow drain or a kitchen flow drain. So if you connect to this, what will happen? If you directly connect this drain pipe to the indoor unit without the U-trap, what will happen? Inside this FCU, you will find the blower. No? Blower means the suction pressure. So what will happen? It may suck the bad smell from the drain, from the flow drain. Also, if you not use this U-trap, the insects may travel and may enter inside this FCU. And if you use this U-trap, what will happen? Always the water is going to present in this because this will create a water seal. Na? Whenever the whenever the water level increases, it will push and the water will go out. And some water always in this in this trap because of uh, with the gravity. Okay, and also we require a slope at least one person slope for this pipe we cannot take this pipe like up like up almost always you must take down with the proper slope and you see this horizontal pipe must must have at least one person slope and if you not maintain this winter slope what will happen if the drain water is not draining out properly it's going to be collected at the bottom of this unit that is a drain tray so what will happen after some time the dripping of water in the room or the leakages, leakages, leakages will start. So this is a small point, but very, very important. So be careful. You must take care for this U-trap and maintain this slope for this drain pipe. Okay. And this point is common for all FCUs and AHU, except uh, cassette. In cassette, you'll find the inbuilt motor that you'll find in the next. Got the idea online about the U-trap? In yes. short, remember, uh, U-trap is used to create water seal. Uh, between the two side of this uh, pipe suppose this is point one this is point two so in between you'll get the water seal <laughs>